Hello, I'm Kerry Decker. Thomas Edison was an innovator, a celebrated businessman, and above all, the world's most creative inventor of the 20th century. It was his genius that brought sight, sound, and light to the world. But the road to the first successful motion picture was not easy. Edward Muybridge, 1830 to 1904, was an accomplished English photographer, known primarily for his early use of multiple cameras to capture motion, and his zoopraxiscope, a device for projecting motion pictures that predated the celluloid film strip that is still used today. Mybridge successfully photographed a horse in fast motion using a series of 24 cameras. The first experiment successfully took place on June 11, 1878. He used a series of 12 stereoscopic cameras 21 inches apart to cover the 20 feet taken by one horse stride, taking pictures at one thousandth of a second. The cameras were arranged parallel to the track with trip wires attached to each camera shutter triggered by the horse's hooves. He used the same technique with other animals. However, these were all a series of still photos viewed in sequence and Edison wanted something better to represent motion. He wanted to do for pictures what he'd done for sound. Thus, he went back to the wax cylinder for inspiration. He drew up a series of sketches as he envisioned a new version of a phonograph. He used the same principle of a metal cylinder, but this time had a series of tiny sequential photos attached that when hand cranked and viewed through an eyepiece, gave the illusion of motion. In the following two sequences, he told the subject to gyrate and, and move around, monkey shines as he called them. Now, from 1889, here is the first true motion picture ever made.